Hi friends, family, and froles. 62 degrees Fahrenheit, December 26th, the day after Christmas. We hit 66 degrees today. Uh, I thought I'd come down here to my little playground, but uh, it's flooded. So my sandbar is gone, and I didn't make it down here in time to see the sunset. Wow, my sandbar is completely gone. And boy, oh boy, there's some big sinkholes down here now. I have to go on the other side. The main sandbar is gone. I hope everybody had a great Christmas and I really hope everybody has a great new year we'll just sit here and listen to the water for a few minutes truth peace freedom love to all so just listen I got the, uh, monitor, uh, holding the camera on. might be able to get a picture of me it's awful dark mud right there on the it's about four foot and I can't jump that far I can jump and make it but I can't make it back without getting muddy I'll try to come down here tomorrow I wish I would have made it down here earlier. The birds and everything was so active. It was a beautiful day. A really strange day. It's getting dark, dark. squirrel above me. Yeah. This water's making me have to use the restroom. A lot of the videos I've been uploading lately, lately have been uh, some old ones, so just pay attention to the what the information I put in the dates. And um, I'll try to get this uploaded tonight. It's pretty boring, but uh, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to me and, and thank you for your friendship, comments, um, 
your views. We're getting ready to start a new decade. It's, it's unbelievable. It's going to be 2020. Is the camera not focusing? Yeah. Okay. Well, I better head back. It's getting cold. Put my hoodie on. Oh, sorry. We even have a, on the north side of my house, uh, well, probably on anybody's north side that don't get much sun in the daytime. This morning, my front yard was still covered in snow, but it's finally gone. But everything is just so wet and muddy. And this weekend, we're supposed to get a whole bunch of rain as the storm that's in California is coming across the country and will be impacting uh, the Midwest and everybody. But I'd rather take the rain than the snow, and I'd rather have the warmer temperatures than the cold. But we're definitely due. Tomorrow's a, today's an anniversary for me, three month anniversary, not a good one. Two or three days ago was my dad's. Uh, seventh year of leaving us and uh, his brother my uncle he passed away it would be two years tomorrow and Uncle Denny didn't want to die on uh, Christmas Day or Christmas Eve he was in a bad way and he held through and held through and he didn't want to pass on my, his brother's day it's really strange how things worked out but uh, Dad passed 12-23-2012, uh, and Uncle Denny passed 12-26. Uh, or it is today, 12-26-2017. Uncle Denny wanted to adopt me, I, I found out years ago, and then I just got that 100%ed uh, the other day. I've been in a bad way, and I just wanted to find out about my family and things. And years and years and years ago, stopping out after swimming, me and my ex, Melissa, God rest her soul, we stopped at my aunt, unc, aunt, uh, aunt Judy and Uncle Dennis's. And uh, we had a few beers, and Uncle Denny talked to me and explained that he wanted to be my dad and father and tried to adopt me. And, it really hit me hard and I couldn't understand why his brother, my dad, didn't want me. Um, but my mom fought for me and she kept me and that was great because I had my grandfather to help me. I could have been a different person, maybe worse than I am now. I don't know. I don't think I'm bad, but I don't do anything bad. I try not to. We all have vices. And uh, it's just been torn torment lately for me. I can't hardly even think straight anymore. And, uh, I, like I said, I don't want no ill will towards nobody. Never. Even my worst enemies. And I don't know why anybody would want ill will towards me or anybody, for that matter of fact. Why do people have to keep pushing and being mean and doing deceitful and evil things to people. So anyways, yeah. My family where I got the Murphy name, they didn't even ask me to come out yesterday. I was really surprised. But not real surprised because the gentleman the union steward, Kip, that is, uh, was doing my grievance to get my job back. He is now dating my half sister, Jenny, and there is a little problem. <laughs> There's more than a little problem. I, I have no problem with him dating her. No, don't don't get me on that. She deserves somebody good. I don't know if Kip's good for her or not. I don't know Kip really that well, just through work, and um, he's just in with HR. And he's not helped me one bit. 
He's only contacted me one time after work. And even if I could get my job back there now, I wouldn't. I wouldn't take it back. I say that now, but tomorrow morning, if my gas got shut off, I'd probably say, yes, I'll take a job back. I'll take any job. Oh, but I'll come back down here tomorrow, and we'll do a daytime video if it's not raining, but it's supposed to be about the same temperature. And uh, I really hope this finds everybody well. And I really, really, really hope we have a great new year. Um, just a really productive and prosperous and peaceful. The three P's. Productful, prosperous, and peaceful. Please. Make sure you tell everybody that you love them. You never know. An hour from now, a second from now, we could be gone. They could be gone. I could be gone. Anybody could be gone. And you see, I'm, I'm going all over. It's just because my mind's... It's hard to be optimistic in the pessimistic world. I'm changing. I'm trying to. Before I uh, wet my pants, I better go. <laughs> so truth, peace, freedom, love to all. Love you guys.